Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have a huge installment in my retail arbitrage series for Poshmark. So I'm gonna cover all of the recent shoe and handbag purchases I made hopefully to resell on Poshmark. So if you want to check out what I picked up, I will also include cost of goods. Definitely keep on watching. For those of you who might be new here, thanks so much for checking this out. I am a full-time working mom, but in my spare time, I really like doing videos on fashion, beauty, mommy lifestyle, in addition to my reselling experience on Poshmark. So if that kind of thing sounds at all interesting, please consider checking out my other videos linked down below. And please, please also hit that subscribe button as well. Okay, so I've been doing a little bit of a mini series here with the stay at home order. I haven't been able to go out thrifting, although our thrift stores have recently opened. I, to be honest, have not yet gone out thrifting, largely because I just really haven't had the time to, but also I'm a little bit afraid, to be honest with you, to get out there to start thrifting so soon. So right now I've been kind of focusing on my little experiment on retail arbitrage, and I will keep you posted along the way how I do with this. I will link down my other videos that I've done for my retail arbitrage hauls down below in case you're interested and want to check them out too. So for today, I just want to share with you a couple of handbag purchases and a bunch of shoe purchases I made recently, and I'm going to hope to sell them on Poshmark. I may keep a few of them as well too, which I'll tell you about. Um, so I'm just going to jump into this. I have a lot to get through, so we're just going to get started here. The first thing I have here are some of the handbags, and I have got this all from just online. I don't believe I got any of these in store before the stay-at-home order. These are, yes, all online purchases. So retail arbitrage for me is definitely still an experiment because I'm still learning about which brands I'm able to resell for a decent price point in order to make them worthwhile picking them up um, new. So I'm playing around a little bit with it. So I focus on a few brands like Madewell, which I will link down that haul below. In addition to, I have a free people video as well. Um, but Right now, this is just kind of a random mix of different brands of bags and shoes I love. This particular purse is a Madewell purse though, and Madewell does pretty well for me still, especially their bags and shoes, I would say. So um, I got a couple of bags from Madewell. This is just adorable, so I couldn't pass this up. And to be honest, I justify these purchases because I say, well, if I can't resell it, I'm just gonna keep it because I love the style and I love this look. So this is a really beautiful bag and this particular bag is called the Juno Circle Crossbody Bag, and it has a really nice slip pocket in the front. It has a crossbody strap, as you can see here, and it has a really nice just uh, zipper open entry at the top here. So I thought this would be perfect for this time of year. I love crossbody bags myself. It'll hold all of your essentials and perfect to just kind of sling over your shoulder. I do also really love the top handles. I think that's like so adorable. So I often carry bags like this just by the handles. I love the colorway too. I believe the color of this leather is called linen. So I'm excited to see how this does. And comps looked okay. It's not gonna be a blockbuster sale for me, that's for sure, but I wanna see how it does. So I paid $56.99 for this bag prior to tax. So tax in my area is close to 10%. So I need to tack that on to these costs just to be wary of. But the base cost was $56.99 for this bag. So I'm not sure how well it's going to resell for, but if I can make any bit of profit, I think I'll be happy with that. I just really love kind of shopping for and, and purchasing this kind of stuff. All right, the next bag is another bag from Madewell. I just love this color. So I have a lot of bags in this caramel color, and I think this one is called Burnished Caramel. And, I mean, look at this leather. It's just such beautiful leather from Madewell. You can just tell by looking at it. So this is called the Elsewhere Thai uh, Crossbody Tote. So it has, again, like the Juno handbag, these top handles, which I love, because I think it's so adorable. But it also has this crossbody strap, as you can see here. I'm not gonna unwrap it because I wanna keep it new, of course, but it has these really nice tie details, and it has a zipper entry at the top, which I think will also be nice. So pretty functional bag, kind of a medium-sized crossbody, I'd say. So I was thinking I might keep this, but I think I'm gonna try to resell it first just because I have a lot of similar looking bags. But I mean, I just love this made well quality and leather. I think this is just a gorgeous style. So this particular bag I paid $65.99 for prior to tax. Okay, so those are the only two handbag purchases I made recently to try to resell on Poshmark. It's a little hard to know which bags to pick up still. I still need to do more research and figure out kind of what works and what doesn't, but those are the ones I wanted to try out first. So I'm going to move on to this shoe haul here, and I love shoes. Um, I love wearing shoes. I love purchasing shoes. Shoes are great just because you always know your size. You don't have to worry about changes in size usually, which is really cool. So I picked up just a random mix of brands. This was really a fun, versatile style. It is called the Xena uh, Slip-On Sneaker. 
and it's in the color caramel. And I haven't seen these before. I'm opening all these boxes really for the first time. So this is gorgeous. Okay, so I'm excited about these. It's a leather flocked outsole, and it's in a size 12. But I just love this style of sneaker. So I really wanted to try this um, Steve Madden one out because I've sold other brands in the same style with this kind of perforated slip-on sneaker, just kind of throw it on and go. So I thought this would be perfect. It's so cute, especially in this colorway, I thought. Um, good for this time of year because it's perforated and it's a sneaker. So I wanted to see how this works out. Um, these styles are just so popular in my closet, at least, because people are just kind of looking for this easy-to-wear type of shoe, I think. So this particular pair of shoes I paid $13.99 for, and I did get 25% off additionally, um, but tax was not included in that uh, price quote. So we'll see how this particular shoe does, but I thought this was a very cute style. Okay, so next up, I wanted to show you guys this particular shoe. So this shoe is from Vince Camuto. And if it's Camuto, to be honest, I don't normally pick up that often at the thrift store unless it's a cool style um, and it's in great condition. Um, I personally like this brand of shoes. It retails for a decent price point, to be honest with you. Their price points in general uh, for these types of shoes are in the 100 to maybe $150 range, I think. So not bad, but the resale value just doesn't hold all that much, I would say. So I need to be pretty selective with this brand, but I came across these pair of booties that I just kind of fell in love with, so I wanted to give it a try. Here is what they look like. Oh, these are really cute. Um, so this particular booty is called the Francia booty. Um, if you're curious, I'm looking down on the side here because I have my notes in terms of what the names are called. Um, but it's a Francia booty in the colorway Foxy in a size 10. So this is really beautiful. So it's just this really cool slip-on heeled booty. But look at that. It's really pretty. I love this taupey colorway too, kind of a grayish look. Um, which is really nice. So yeah, I think this hopefully will do pretty well. It's just really beautiful quality. So it's a kind of a versatile boot, I thought. Um, and kind of a nice classic style. So we will see. I'm not sure how well it's gonna do this time of year, but these kind of shoes are just so versatile. I mean, you can wear them with shorts, you can wear them with cutoffs, you can wear them with um, like cropped pants or jeans, I think. You can even wear them with dresses. I mean, I think that they're just so versatile even for the summer months. So yeah, I'm hopeful somebody will like these. Again, it's in a size 10, and I paid $24.49 for it, but then I got 25% off as well. But then, of course, you have to tack on tax. So that's what I paid for these. So next up, I have um, another pair of shoes here. And this one is from a brand that I love finding um, when I'm out thrifting because I think that it's a very classic bread and butter brand for my closet. They don't resell for a whole lot of money, I'll say, but it's definitely decent. And I really just love this brand of shoe personally as well. So let me show you the style I got. And the brand is Sam Edelman. Of course, I'm sure you've heard about this brand. But this particular pair of boot I thought was gorgeous. I mean, look at this. It's a showstopper. So I have a similar version of this that I picked up from the anniversary sale last summer that um, was brown and black. So I love this kind of reptile print two-tone design. I think it just works really well. Amazing statement um, when you're wearing this out. So I like to wear just with classic, maybe all black or something very neutral colors. This would be gorgeous with kind of a cream colorway in terms of your outfit. And then just pop it with this. I mean, that's just like a showstopper. So. I'm hopeful somebody will agree with me that these are showstoppers, and I love these boots. I have a similar one again. Um, so this is called the Sam Edelman Hilti Booty. It's in black and nude, it's called, and I picked up two of these. So I picked up a seven and a half and a nine. I thought this was just beautiful. So it has really nice details here, and um, it has even the Sam Edelman the SE here on the heel. You can see that there, but that's just really nice detail. And it has a zip entry on the inside here. And I mean, it's just gorgeous. So you can't really see the Sam Edelman in there, but that's it's in there. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited about these particular pair of booties. We'll see how they do. So I decided to um, pay $52.48 for these particular pair of booties, not including tax. So if you look up comps, I mean, I think I'll be able to make a little bit of money off of these. It's not going to be, again, spectacular, but um, I think it was probably worth my time trying to pick them up at least. So this particular one is in the size 9. And here is the other pair that I got. And this particular one is in a size 7.5, I believe. 
so here's the other pair there so I got two of the same ones so we'll see how they do if not I may be able to fit into one of these so I'm not angry about that um, but yeah I'm excited about those booties we'll see I'm not sure how well these kind of booties are the style we'll do this time of year but um, I think come fall it's gonna be amazing okay so the next uh, pair of shoes I got are in here and this is another pair of Sam Edelman packaging again it's just in these bags here but um, this booty is just really unique I thought and a really fun style oh, so I haven't seen these in person yet but these are just like beautiful I think um, okay so this particular pair of boots are called the Sam Edelman Lauren studded booty in leopard it's calf hair and it's size 7 but um, I mean just gorgeous so I don't know if you can see the Sam Edelman but it's in there and there's an inside zipper, as you can tell here. But, I mean, speaking of showstopper, bam, look at that. <laughs> it's amazing. I love the studded detail. I love this cap here. I mean, this is just like so unique style that I think hopefully somebody will love. If not, I will love it because I will fit into this. Um, but, I mean, just amazing. Look at that. So I'm excited to try this one out again. I'm not sure about this time of year for the calf hair and kind of leopard prints, but I think come fall, this is going to be um, a good one to have. So I paid $41.99 for these pair of boots uh, prior to tax. Okay, so I just have these two shoes left, and they are, again, the same shoe. So as you can tell, if I find something I like, I tend to buy multiples of them just because I like them, um, and I think I'm getting them at a good deal, although I'm really not sure how it's going to work out. Uh, but I got two of the same ones, and I was really excited about this one. So these particular shoes, actually, I'll show you the main box here, is from a brand called LOQ. You can see that they're on the box. So this brand is called LOQ, and this is a relatively new-ish brand um, on the market. I think they were founded in around 2015, and they are based out of LA, but have California and Indian inspirations, actually, in their designs. But these shoes retail for quite a high price point, and they also are really, really popular in terms of the resale value as well, and resale market. So I wanted to try out this brand. This is a brand that I pretty much, for sure, would never find out thrifting anyway, so I wanted to see if I can resell it from a retail arbitrage perspective. Perspective. So I was in love with these booties when I found them and um, I bought them both from Nordstrom and um, one of them came in the box as you can see here which I love the other one came like this so again to be honest for these type of shoes I think it's really nice to have the box so I'm a little disappointed that one of them didn't have it but you know I understand why so let me just show you the one that's open here but it's the same booty I have two different sizes though I have a 37 and a 38 so this particular boot from LOQ is called the Matea. It's called the Bonbon Croc Emboss a Leather Booty, called the Matea. So, yeah, this is really nice. <laughs> so, you know, it's pretty high price point and I paid up quite a bit for these, but the comps looked good. There aren't a whole lot of them on Poshmark now, which is also nice. So I decided to try these out. They also are currently selling these boots on the LQ website for a lot more money as well. So I'm hopeful that somebody will be able to score these uh, in a Poshmark closet for a little bit of a discount too. So in case you want to see what the bottoms look like too here, I'll show you kind of what this looks like here. So that's what the LQ logo looks like or the lettering. And just a really nice inside zip booty here. And on the insole, if you ever see this outsourcing, it just says LOQ, very clean lines. Not sure you can see that there, but that's what it looks like. So be on the lookout for this. This is a Bolo brand for sure. If I find a LOQ shoe out there, I'm gonna pick it up pretty much. <laughs> um, even if there's wear on it, it definitely is reselling for quite a bit. Even checking out the real world, the comps of these used booties are still pretty high. So I'm excited to try this out. I think this line is really known for their unique kind of designs and kind of a fun take on some classic styles. So for instance, this is a very classic booty, but what's unique about it, of course, is the embossing. I like the toe shape on this, but look at the heel. That's what got me. I mean, it's so unique in how it's designed. So yeah, that's what I just loved about this. So be on the lookout for LOQ shoes. Again, I think that they probably are going to do pretty well. I'm going to get these listed. I'm not sure they're going to do so well in the summer. I think they may be a little better come fall, but I will let you know how they do.
So I think that's it. I worked through my whole stack here and I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a little bit about what kind of brands at least I'm looking out there for and also what kind of price points I'm picking these things up at. And I will let you know of course in future videos what actually sells for me and for what price point. So make sure you're subscribed if you want to check out those future videos. Let me know what kind of shoes and handbag brands you like picking up and if you have any good tips for retail arbitrage as well. I definitely could use your recommendations. Otherwise, I hope um, you're staying safe and healthy and I will plan to see you again in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.